Hi Virgo, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, what are the messages for Virgo? Boundaries, firm boundaries may be needed right now because one person is giving too much in this connection. So it's probably you, Virgo. You've been giving a lot, and maybe you're feeling used or taken advantage of, but they're saying you need boundaries. So as you hear the siren, maybe there's something you need to notice in a connection, whether it's a relationship, a situationship, whatever it is, work. Maybe you're overworking. Yeah, there's something you need to be aware of as the siren goes by. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be completely horrible. Just be aware that maybe someone is taking advantage of you or you're giving too much and you're depleted, whether it's, you know, emotionally, physically, um, with your money. What else does Virgo need to know? You do have a bright future, so don't let this get you down. Have the courage, Virgo to change, to change something. One more, please. To be happy. So, but Virgos, I kind of get, yeah, you may be in a period of assessing your life, who you're, who you're around, who you're dealing with, how much time and money or energy you're giving to a situation, whether it is your job, a relationship, a friendship, a coworker, okay? You can make these changes. Spirit sees that you're bogged down. You're giving way too much, Virgo, way too much. You need to pull it back and save some for yourself or, you know, but things are good. Things are going to be okay with this card coming out first, okay? If you make these changes, you'll be happier. All right. Or this change. Maybe just one change. And maybe it's just spending less time with one person or spending less money or something. So I don't feel like it's a horrible message or anything. Um, I know Virgos, you guys are very caring, big hearts, very loyal, kind. You want to make people happy. Um, so just make sure you're not over giving. What does Virgo need to know in the tarot? What's going on in the tarot for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. They are saying a new chapter is starting. Not a whole new book, just a chapter. So that's, you know, starting something new in your life, something different, a new hobby. Um, maybe some of you want to write a book, and be, that's a really good idea. I guess someone else wants to change the way they're eating. Maybe you want to eat less meat or something, or cut out dairy that might be a really good idea that may help with maybe your skin or with an, something that you're you know your inflammation your stomach or something what else is going on for see virgo some of you may also live in a toxic area i hate to say that but you might want to consider moving if you feel like the area you live in is just not healthy for you you may be, yeah, you may be stuck in a contract of some sort or, or lease or something, but um, just maybe start looking now, get prepared, start, you know, because it also might make you feel depressed. Some, you may be stuck in something you can't get out of or you feel you can't get out of it and you may have to wait. However, start making plans for the next move or change because you do have, you know, a good outcome here. What is the three of coins? What is the three of coins? See, I don't like that the devil is in someone else's energy. It could be a Capricorn, but it's probably somebody who feels like they have control over you. You may feel controlled by somebody or a situation. This is what fell out. Giving money, giving more. You may want to invest in your career or study or schools. Let me see what the Wheel of Fortune is going to bring in as well. Yeah. You have a money idea. You have something that you shine at, that you're really good at. I feel like some of you are in the wrong school or vocation or job or relationship, even a friendship, even the wrong city. Something something is off right now, Virgo. But if you make this switch or if you create better boundaries, maybe you're not getting the work that you want to do done because someone's always infringing on your time. You will be very successful with money. I see money, long-term success going very well. Maybe you want to learn how to invest or, um, you know, create something. You may have to in, you know, put money in, you know, buy a course, go to back to school, invest in the market in order to get money out. But I get it's something you're going to do well at. Maybe you could teach other people down the way, and then that's another money avenue. What is the devil energy here? There may specifically be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone who acts cold, but I don't get like this person has your back completely, okay? Could be a boss, could be, you know, a coworker, could be a love interest, but I feel like they're more about what they can gain from the connection than what they can give. So careful of that. 
some of you might also um I don't know, I get kind of like there's an iffy thing around a business partner. Like some of you, you might find, find someone who's a good mentor or teacher, but others of you, if like this person is not out to help you, they're just out to take your money or something. But let me keep going here. I know it's kind of negative, but you actually have a good reading because I'm, I keep seeing like positive energy. I guess some of you, it's time to work on your own, be an entrepreneur, uh, make money from home. You could be selling stuff. You could be selling stuff on Amazon, Etsy, or eBay or something as well. I get starting a new business and don't let business that word scare you because maybe it is about you know again buying products on sale and then reselling them it could be like your own little side hustle business but it can make you a lot of money for somebody you may also be meeting another earth sign like yourself um, who you may be very compatible with them maybe a Taurus specifically for some of you if there's a Taurus I get like they may be a good partner fit for you. Like the two of you just get along very well and have a lot of the same goals in life. I get money goals specifically, but, but also like other goals, health goals, travel goals. I get somebody will be going to um, maybe Spain, Italy, Greece, but something like that came up. I see you planning a trip. I feel like planning a trip might be a really good idea for you right now even if it may not seem like it's feasible or money but i feel like it would give you a breath of fresh air it's kind of what they're saying like this would be a good idea to get out and do something very different see someplace that's very different than where you live okay i see you going into a better relationship as well i see you breaking up with somebody and getting into a relationship that's more loving i feel like you have people around you who just don't have your back who really don't care about you and this would be very obvious so if you kind of like are questioning this, it's probably not you, but if you feel like, yeah, something's wrong, like some of you don't want to see this possibly, or you don't want to make that decision, but you, it's, it's not healthy. I feel like sticking your head in the sand. Someone, I feel like someone is doing that, but let me see. Yep. I see someone who's much more loving. I see someone who would be a really good partner, friend, who'd be very loyal. The king of swords and our energy, not the sign or is someone who might be kind of cold and they're always looking at things from their point of view and what they can take and what's in it for them the king of cups is more caring and considerate he or she is more about you know again this is the energy of the person not the sign they're worried about you know your well-being and if you're happy in this connection and how you the two of you can like improve things and make things better they want you to shine they don't want to hold you back some of you are in a business or a job or something where you are being held back. Someone does not want you to succeed and do better than them. So please be aware of that because you have a negative energy around you right now that you do need to get away from them, get, get away from this energy. Even if you could transfer out of that position or location or you know move out of that house or something, it would be a really good idea. What is the Seven of Cups as well? Page of Coin. Yeah, I see you, Virgo, maybe getting into a, um, some of you might, are going to have a child within the next seven months. You're going to find out you're pregnant, so careful of that as well if you don't want to be. But um, others of you, I feel like there is somebody who is a really good source of help or information. There's no ulterior motives. You also might find a better place to live, like I said, a different city or town might be better for you as opposed to the one you're living in now. Because remember, the whole thing started with you have a bright future. However, you have to have the courage to make a change in order to make yourself happy, okay? And you need better boundaries in place. Boundaries are, are important right now. So whatever this is, they're kind of telling you very specifically what to do. I get some of you have been involved with someone who keeps you know, hurt, hurting you or breaking your heart. If it's a player, you need to walk away. If this person's too inconsistent, you need to walk away and find someone who truly loves you. Again, the King of Cups, Queen of Cups energy is this the energy of a person, not the sign of someone who could be very loyal, loving, nurturing to you. I'm also getting somebody, you have a child with somebody, but you don't talk to them or see them, but yet they're a really good person. You may have been cut off from them or you let someone else cut the tie between you or something, which is interesting because you have a child, I would think that. But that's not, I get there's not, that's not a healthy thing that someone really cares about you. 
I'm going to leave that one there because that's not coming through very clearly, so I don't want to mess that one up. If, but um, that looks a little blurry. This isn't blurry, is it? Okay. Anything else, Spirit, for Virgo? What Virgos need to know at this time? What Virgo needs to know at this time? Keys on a ring. You have meant more options than you think, and you need to find the one that you're passionate about, whether it's a person, a job. Um, yeah, heart with the key. Keys on a ring means options. It does, it does say one night stand, unconventional, strewn along, but I kind of feel like there's a weird energy here because I picked up somebody that you maybe had a one night stand with, but it's like that person would have been like, they, or they are, would it be a really good partner for you, but you don't seem to talk to them. But I think it's because you don't want to talk to them. It's not that they don't want to talk to you. Also, I get like a lot of options when it comes to making money. You may be overwhelmed. You may not be able to like focus on just one. You may feel like you don't know what to choose. So you don't do choose anything at all. And that's not a good idea. You need to choose. Even if you chose two things and kind of split your energy. I know you're not supposed to do that. They, they always say like, you know, don't do that. But I kind of feel like if you don't choose, then you're not going to do anything. And that's really bad. That's that change you need to make. So stop procrastinating and make a decision and maybe even choose between two things if possible. Obviously two locations might be difficult to nail that down, but you know what I'm saying? If it's two ways to make money, maybe you could start on both. Find out which one you're really passionate about. The one that holds the key to your heart, whether it's a person, it's, it's a job, whatever it is, a career, that's the one to pick. Because you do have a lot of options in front of you and you may be getting overwhelmed. Some of you are gonna marry somebody here within the next year. And again, it's going to be somebody who has proven their loyalty over and over. And you don't have to question it. But just make sure you're in love with them because they're in love with you. I feel the need to say that because I do get readings where someone says, I'm just not passionate about them. I don't feel the connection, but they're really good to me. Well, you don't want to be stuck in something like that as well because then other things will go wrong. But I feel like choose the person who has your heart, who you're passionate about or their job or something. And I do see some of you getting married or in a, you know, in a commitment, soul connection, commitment, whatever you want to do with, without the paper. And I do see you having a child with someone within the next seven months, finding out you're pregnant anyways, um, for a few of you. Okay. Energy shutting down. So I'm going to leave it there. Virgo, have a great week, you guys. And I'll talk to you soon.